so this is a specimen of uh, radical cystoprostatectomy seen from the posterior aspect the shiny peritoneum can be seen on the dome and the posterior aspect and the hands are holding the vas deferens on both aspects this is the both seminal vesicles which are being pinched with the forceps and this is the lower end of the prostate this is the anterior aspect which is non peritoneal you can see the fatty tissue and the forceps is being introduced into the urethral lumen distal urethral cut margin so we start by painting the anterior aspect using the black ink so inking is required in microscopy to look at whether the tumor involves the ink or not this is the complete painting of the posterior aspect now we go on to the anterior aspect the peritoneal margin some people may not prefer to ink the peritoneal margin as the peritoneum can be seen on microscopy this is the these are the ureters this is the both the ureters which are being shown here with the forceps we continue to ink the whole of the specimen and next we start opening the bladder by cutting open the anterior wall through the distal urethra begin cutting till the dome of the bladder using sharp scissors so you can see that the tumor is filling the whole of the lumen of the bladder with lot of exudate this is the inverted bladder just to demonstrate the big polypoidal and papillary tumor now this is post fixed specimen showing the tumor the bladder you can see the shiny peritoneal surface these are the vas differentia and now we take the usual measurements of the bladder the length breadth and the thickness of the bladder and then you continue with the measurements of the tumor here the tumor is mainly involving the left lateral wall and part of trigone and the posterior wall we take the measurement distance of the tumor from the distal urethral cut margin which is an important uh, margin to be taken these are the cut margins which we take of both the vas deferens after measure taking measurements this is the cut margin of one of the ureters and the cut margin of the other ureter then you take the cut margin of distal ureter urethral cut margin you begin by taking a section of the right lateral wall which is uninvolved as you can see here so this is a section from the right lateral wall which is uninvolved try to sample all the walls of the bladder both the involved and the uninvolved ones to look for any carcinoma in situ changes in the uninvolved parts so this is a section from the right lateral wall which is not involved you can see the white muscle coat and the brown mucosa then we start taking sections of the tumor complete tumor sections along with the muscle coat and the perivesical fat together with the inked black margins of the specimen we continue this so that the whole tumor sections are taken along with the wall and we lay them out on the board then we measure the tumor thickness and the involvement of the muscle and we try to look at the maximum thickness and involvement of the muscle coat and then we try to start taking sections of the tumor with the muscle wall with the perivesical fat and the ink for microscopy this is how the sections are taken you can see this papillary tumor which is being taken 
with complete transmural section including the perivesical fat and the peritoneum which is zinc then we go on to completely transect the whole of the prostate which is similar to the radical prostatectomy this is the section which we are taking along with the seminal vesicle of the prostate the whole of the prostate should be sectioned and taken so as to not miss any concurrent or concomitant prostatic adenocarcinomas this is how we lay out the section these are the slices from the tumor along with the wall and the fat and these are the sections from the bladder wall the smaller sections which you see are the transections of the vas deferens the ureters and finally we have the sections of the prostate laid down as a, as for a radical prostatectomy